Beware the soggy bottom! Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Great British Bake Off disasters. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at all of the most dramatic incidents to take place on this much loved cooking program. Number 10 Louise's Biscuit Merge Biscuits. What happened? I don't know. Though Louise had made her biscuit recipe many times before, she found herself in a nightmarish situation when her first round went into the oven and quickly collapsed on themselves, merging together to become one giant super cookie. While we certainly wouldn't mind eating it, she knew it wouldn't fly with the judges. Louise, you've got a broken heart. You're telling me. That broken heart cookie perfectly represented what we were feeling as viewers when we watched poor Louise go through this ordeal. The judges weren't impressed by the failed stained glass window biscuits that Louise was aiming for, and she was eliminated later that episode. We can safely say these are not coming off the plate, can't we? Number 9. Dorrit's Black Forest Collapse Cakes In the season premiere of the sixth series of Bake Off, the contestants were charged with making their spin on a classic Black Forest Gateau for the showstopper round. But Dorrit was off to a rough start when her mousse didn't set properly, making it impossible for her cake to retain any structural integrity. You know, because it's just a cake. <laughs> it's not just a cake. It is just oh, a cake. Well. She was understandably devastated when her gateau completely collapsed, leaving a gooey mess instead of a pretty end result. Despite this major error, though, she managed to stay in the competition for another couple of episodes after the incident. Number 8. James's Crumbling Barn Biscuits Quarterfinal This isn't at all my sort of baking, but I have come around to this challenge. For the quarterfinal of the third series of Bake Off, James Morton endeavoured to make a wooden frame gingerbread barn, but it ended up falling apart, forcing him to put a spooky spin on it, calling it a haunted bar, and even adding cobwebs. This is a total disaster. It's gone from looking rather lovely to absolute disaster. While what he intended was an indisputable failure, the end result wasn't actually that bad, and he was even named Star Baker that week. Not only that, but he ended up in the final of the show, and has been successful ever since. If that's the look you were going for, <laughs> top mark. Number 7. Ruby's Toppling Cake – Vegan Yeah, so I have dowels in there because obviously it's quite a tall cake. So I want to make sure it looks all nice and sturdy. I don't want any um, wonky cakes. Baking using only vegan-friendly ingredients can be tricky enough, but creating a gorgeous tiered cake without using eggs and dairy like you're used to can result in complete chaos. That's what happened for Ruby in Series 9 when her showstopper couldn't stand up on its own. I don't think that's going to... Uh oh. When the clock ran out in the baker's time, her cake wasn't stable, so she was forced to leave the tent and hope for the best. But the other contestants watched helplessly from outside as the dessert slowly toppled over onto her workstation. Ooh. Ooh, it's, it's, oh, coming, it's coming, it's coming, oh, oh, it's gonna fall. Number six, Mary's oven mishap. Biscuits. Chloe, I don't think muffins on the right thing. Mmm, what do I do? Sometimes, the bakers encounter errors when working with complex techniques that are beyond any of us at home anyway, but other times, they make rookie mistakes just like anyone else would. One example of this was in Series 6 when Mary forgot to turn on her oven during the technical bake, realising what had happened when there was no time left to fix it. Bakers, three minutes on your cinnamon swirls of doom, three minutes. This came as an extra shock since she had been named the first star baker of the series in the prior episode. Unfortunately, this mistake contributed to her being eliminated. A nice texture inside. A pity there's not eight. Number five, John's Salty Sweets. Cake. Oh, I've messed up big style, yeah. John Waite eventually became the winner of the third series of Bake Off, but in the season premiere, things didn't look too hopeful for this baker. 
During the technical challenge, the contestants were charged with making rum bubbas, and John mistakenly used salt instead of sugar in his dough. I'm just trying to slice off the salted part of the bubba. I'm fighting for my place in the competition now. The results were about as disastrous as you would imagine, with Mary refusing to touch them and Paul spitting them out. Oh, jeez. What is it, Paul? There's too much salt in there. Somehow, though, John only came second to last in the ranking, managing to edge out Natasha, who was eliminated that episode. Number four, Danny's failed fondants. Puddings. Are you a good multitasker, Danny? I sense you are. I, I, I am, sense you in are. some respects. For the signature bake in the sixth episode of the third season, the contestants were asked to make two different types of sponge pudding, and Danny opted for a banoffee pudding with walnut butterscotch sauce, as well as Jubilee chocolate fondants. Oh, oh no! Oh. Just as she took her fondants out of the oven, however, two of them slid off the baking tray and were upended onto the floor and her trainers. She was understandably discouraged, but the blunder didn't stop her from staying in the running for another few episodes. It's ruined. It's absolutely ruined. I'm so going out. Number three, Sue's muffin mistake, bread. That had um, an injury, uh, blunt force trauma to? that involved my elbow. Sometimes the bakers are the only ones to blame for the issues that befall them, but other times there is outside interference that can't be helped. In one instance of this, host Sue unintentionally put her elbow into Howard's English muffins, seriously denting them. Howard, I need to break something to you. I think that's my elbow. I think that's my elbow on your muffin. And this wasn't the only time one of the presenters got involved in one of the baker's creations in a bad way. In the same series, Mel accidentally knocked over Francis's biscuit tower, but it clearly didn't impact his success because Francis would go on to win the competition. Yep, you're okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Number two, Custard Gate. Desserts. I've got to make that into pop custard, and uh, I've got two types of caramel to make. It seemed as though Howard couldn't avoid disaster in Series 4, and it started to seem like bad luck was following him everywhere. Just one episode after the incident with Sue and the English muffins, Howard was making an apple and caramel trifle when Deborah accidentally used the custard that he made for her own tropical trifle when she took the wrong bowl from the fridge. Where's my custard? Oh no! I'm so sorry, Howard. She was appropriately apologetic and offered up her own custard for Howard to use, and luckily the judges were willing to acknowledge what had happened and judge the results accordingly. I'm sure that one custard's as good as another. No, one love, one custard. <laughs> Number one, Bin Gates. Desserts. It's a mess, disaster, it's revolting. I think from soup. Ask any Bake Off fan what the most dramatic moment in the show's history is, and they'll undoubtedly agree it was this one. Dubbed Bingate by fans and the press, this incident took place in the fifth series in the Desserts episode when the contestants were asked to make versions of a baked Alaska for their showstopper. Where's my ice cream? <laughs> The tea, sorry, Ian. We, we, ah! Ian's dessert was chilling when fellow baker Diana removed it from the fridge for an indeterminate amount of time, causing it to melt in the sweltering heat. While this would have been an unfortunate occurrence, Ian made it a true disaster when he had an understandable tantrum and threw the entire dessert into the bin. Okay. I got a sorry right. suggestion. Oh! Yeah. oh. No, 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 go. Oh boy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.